Explainer videos are a great way to make your content more visually appealing and accessible for your audience. You may have seen them in places like Vox, BuzzFeed, or generally around social media. They range in styles, but most videos will combine text, images, graphics, sounds, and voiceovers to essentially create something that resembles a moving infographic. There are a multitude of ways to create these types of videos, but today we're going to cover one of the easiest, a platform called Movely. Movely is an online video editor that makes the animation of these videos simple. With a free account, users are given access to the platform with just a few limitations, which I'll explain later. Today, I'm going to go over the basics. In the end, our product should look something like this. To start, go to www.moodly.com. If you're new to the site, you'll need to create a login. Since I'm already logged in, I'm going to go to My Moves. Here, I can see all of my projects. We're going to click Create New Move. The next step is to enter a title, description, and a category. Once you click Create, you'll be given the option to start from scratch or to use one of Movely's many templates. They provide different templates for different styles of videos, but for this project, we're just going to start from scratch. Your video editor will show up in a new window. Movely calls the screen the stage. Directly to the right of the stage is the animation and stage settings. Here, you can set the dimensions of your movie, like so. This helps you to customize for different platforms. We'll stick with HD. You can also change the properties of an object and change the background color. Let's set our background color. To the left, you have the library. We have Movely's library, which provides free resources. And then you have your own personal library, where you can upload photos, sounds, voiceovers, and videos. With a free account, you're allowed a maximum of 20 objects in your personal library, so be sure to delete things when you no longer need them. Let's go back to the Movely library. The drop-down menu shown here allows you to sort through the different objects available. There are doodles, which are basically drawings that look like they could have been drawn by hands. There are infographic style icons, which are much more computerized illustrations. And there are preset backgrounds, which are nice if you would like to change up the style of your video. There's the Movely Sandbox. The Movely Sandbox provides experimental, pre-animated content that you are free to use. Using the search bar at the top of our library, we're going to search for the image we want. When you search Earth, many different options will come up. Simply click on the one you like and drag it onto the stage. Now that our Earth is on the stage, we can manipulate it to be whatever size we want. We can also twist the Earth whichever way we choose. Notice that now we have an object in our timeline on the bottom here. You are able to move the object wherever you see fit on the timeline. So let's go ahead and make that longer. And we won't have the earth come in until about three seconds. You can also make the object duration shorter and longer. I'm going to go ahead and start with the earth for about four seconds. To the right, I'm able to change the color of my image if I want to. So I select my globe, and I head over to the right. Let's go ahead and make the earth dark gray. Now how do we make it move? 
Look at the object in your timeline. Underneath where it says Globe 1, click on Choose Animation. There are many different options, but we want the Earth to spin slowly to represent the information. So simply select Spin Slow. The animation should appear beneath the object in the timeline. Once again, you can make that animation longer or shorter. And decide when the animation will happen. I want my globe to start spinning later, so I move the animation further down. Now let's add some text. Go to the top of the editor where your controls are and select the T. The other controls at the top of the toolbar mimic controls you would find in a word processing document, such as undo and redo, cut, copy, paste. With your text tool, you're going to go ahead and hover over the space on the stage you would like the text to appear and click. Double click on your text box to edit the text. To change the font, highlight the text and move over to the properties tab on the right. Here you can also change the font's color, background color, alignment, size, and stroke. I'll choose this font. Just like with the globe, we can also manipulate the text to look the way we want, and we can animate the text as well. I want my text to appear a little after the globe, so I position it appropriately. Next I'll add in a fade in animation. So I go to choose animation, go up to fade, and select fade in. It'll automatically go to the beginning of my object. To play back your video and see how it looks, just drag the playhead or the red line to the area you would like to see and press the spacebar. Let's take it to the beginning. Let's go ahead and add in our text, just like the one we saw from the example video before. Then I'll go ahead and right align this text. Remember that each object can have more than one animation. I'll add a fade out to both of our objects. So I click on choose animation and select fade out. It will automatically go to the end. Then I'm going to make the globe just as long as the text in duration. I'm going to click the drop down menu, choose another animation, fade out. And let's say I want it to spin the entire time as it fades out. If I wanted to keep going, all I would have to do would be to add another scene with this plus button right here, like so. Scenes are optional. You can make your entire movie within one scene if you so choose. However, using scenes makes it easier to move your content around and make changes. See how I have a blank slate now that I'm in a new scene? Finally, don't forget to click the Save button up at the top. Moofly will save your video automatically, periodically, but you want to make sure that you have the most up-to-date version before you exit the editor. Return to the main Moofly site and go ahead and view your video. All of your options for sharing are listed below. The easiest thing to do is to simply download your file as a video. Movely will send the finished product to your email. However, you can also publish to YouTube, Facebook, or the Movely Gallery. Or, if you feel like you're not done and need some extra help, you can email your move to anyone you choose and they can help you edit it in Movely. And it's as easy as that.